this spring, the magic of baseball still lies in the traditions, the memories, like those of my friend, longtime Syracuse sports anchor, Dave Cohen. I arrived in Syracuse for my freshman year in 1968 and was assigned a room in the brand new boys dormitory, Brewster Hall. There was a new girls dorm as well, Bolin Hall, and a senior citizens high rise called Toomey Abbott Towers. The feeling was, why not have the seniors mingle with the college kids? Sort of like having an unlimited supply of grandmas and grandpas. Well, just a few days after I got there, I was in the lobby with a couple of other guys and we were talking baseball, a passionate, heated discussion when one of the seniors walked over and overheard us. He said, you guys like baseball, right? And we said, yes. He said, well, I've got some stuff I'd love to show you. Why don't you come up to my apartment? And there, all over the walls, black and white pictures of Yankee Stadium, inside and outside, we recognized the Babe and Gehrig, but one picture had the Babe, Gehrig, and a third guy in it. He said, that's me. I'm Bob Shockey, and I pitched the very first game, the very first day of Yankee Stadium in 1923. In 1930, Bob Shockey was named the manager of the Yankees. That lasted one year. He retired in Syracuse and passed away at the age of 90 in 1980. And as for me, my journey from Syracuse to New York was completed in 1995 when I became the TV play-by-play -play voice of the Yankees. Going from a freshman pitcher at Syracuse to the Yankees' voice. What a ride. Bob Shockey moved to Syracuse in 1944 after his playing career. He went back to New York to throw out the first pitch to open the newly renovated Yankee Stadium in 1976. I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. And, wow, I mean, what a great story. And if you've got one for Tim to share, send us an email, somethinggood at localesfire.com, or post to social media and use the hashtag 